Hi, good morning, everybody. Now, it's no secret that the globalists around the world want to implement a global government. And with that, they want total control over all nations and all citizens and int to introduce um, a central bank digital currency. But one of the organizations that is really trying to push this and being used to implement a go global government in, in to some extent is the World Health Organization. Now, probably most people don't actually know that there was a series of regulations called the International Health Regulations 2005, which 196 countries have signed up to, and they are legally binding under international law. So the UK signed up to that in 2005, Canada, the USA, all the other countries. Um, but nobody really knew about this until it's all coming out now. But we've seen the effects of that, obviously, over the last two years with the lockdown situation, the COVID situation, uh, and the World Health Organization, as we could say, so-called taking a lead and um, telling nations what to do. They say, uh, do a lockdown, and most countries in lockstep together implemented what the World Health Organization, World Health Organization WHO said when they said it. Um, but that's not enough uh, for the World Health Organization and the people uh, behind them because they want even more power. So what they're doing at the moment is preparing something called an international pandemic preparedness treaty. Now, it hasn't been written yet, but it's going to be presented to the 75th Congress of the WHO in Geneva uh, at the end of May. And, uh, you know, whatever it is, you can be sure that it isn't going to be good for the national sovereignty of uh, sovereign nation states. And it's not going to be good for citizens of any uh, sovereign country, because the idea would be to implement uh, global governance in a time of an emergency. So the World Health Organization will be able to declare an emergency and then they will uh, be able to take over uh, the running or the sovereignty of a nation uh, to do whatever they say needs to be done uh, to counter the emergency, whether it's a pandemic or something else or, you know, or whatever they they deem to be a pandemic uh, may not be a real one. But if they say it is, uh, then they would take um, control like a hand in a sock puppet or a 196 sock puppets, but 194, sorry, countries that have signed up uh, to be members of the WHO. So this is being prepared and the idea is that they will look at it, then they will uh, adopt it formally uh, in 2023 and that will then come into force in 2024. That's the timetable that they've got. So over the next two years, they're going to put in place uh, something that will be internationally binding on the nations that are members of the WHO. Whether it uh, rides roughshod over your sovereignty and your constitution, uh, it doesn't matter. Globalists don't care about that. But, uh, you know, I'm in the UK, obviously, and there's been so much that's been done over the last 50, 60 years that has been completely repugnant and inimical to our constitution and should never have been implemented because our constitution specifically protects against supranational organisations taking away sovereignty from the people or you know, the sovereign uh, of our country. So the way it works in the UK, it's a little bit... Um, different to most other places the sovereign actually is the crown in parliament but that uh, is supposed to if it all works properly mean the people are sovereign because the people vote for parliament and then the monarch rubber stamps whatever the parliament says so it's a parliamentary democracy it's supposed to work um but of course uh people who are globalists, who are nefarious, always try to find ways around that to put in place their um, agendas and uh, their programs. And we have to guard against that. So every generation of people has to fight for freedom 
uh, in every nation. It seems that that's uh, the way it is. So our fight for freedom is now. Uh, our fight to stand up for our sovereignty and what is good uh, is now. And it continues. So uh, people stood up uh, against the lockdowns and all of the things that, that were uh, going along with that in the last two years. And then there's another thing that is being thrown at us. What, what people sometimes say about the UK is that we don't have a constitution. That's completely not true. Uh, we do have a constitution. It's very, very good and a solid constitution. It's just not all written down in one place, in one technocratic document like you might have in France or Germany. Um, part of our constitution, which is really good, is the 1689 Bill of Rights. And I'm just going to read a little bit of this, just one key sentence that I'm sure a lot of you know. No foreign prince, person, prelate, state, or potentate hath or ought to have any jurisdiction, power, superiority, preeminence, or authority, ecclesiastical or spiritual, within this realm. That means that the Parliament, the King, nobody in this country, in the United Kingdom, has the right to give away any part of our sovereignty to any foreign body, state, supranational entity whatsoever, whether it's the EU, the UN, or the World Health Organization, or anything else. So the Johnson regime, or any regime, does not have the right to sign a treaty that will give away our sovereignty to the World Health Organization. If it does that, it will be against our constitution and it will be null and void, in my opinion. The trouble is, of course, you have a lot of very, very violent, aggressive New World Order police thugs like the TSG and so on, and we've seen how they've acted against freedom protesters in the last two years, completely ignoring our constitution, our laws, our human rights. And uh, it's very difficult to stand up uh, to them as individuals when you've got a hundred uh, helmeted, batoned thugs coming for you. Um, but the time is coming when we need to uphold our constitution, our freedom and our sovereignty. And the time to do that is now. And I know that many, many people raised their voices against the terrible lockdowns and everything. And because of the awful things that that was doing to our economy, to our businesses that have closed, to individual people who have lost, uh, in some cases, their lives because the health service was not functioning properly and the mental health issues that people have got now after two years of our society being wrecked and pulled apart uh, are terrible. I know many, many people are suffering and come to me personally and tell me the stories of how, you know, they're finding it difficult to cope. Um, you know, even now that uh, the, the regulations of the last two years has been lifted. So we cannot have our nation signing up to another international treaty that is going to allow people who are foreign, who have no care for the people in this country, our citizens, our businesses, our, our culture, our history, to have power over us and to be able to say, just because they deem by d decree, wherever in Geneva or New York, wherever they're based, that we have to do this or do that or do the other in the future when it has no benefit to us whatsoever, but is going to only benefit the people who have the plans to hollow out our nations and sovereignty and implement a global government. So the time to speak up about this and raise awareness of this is now. The time to write to your MPs is now. The time to get onto whatever media platforms we can and speak about this is now. Um, and I do have hope because after two years of the so-called, you know, the, the lockdown situation, people were en masse starting to wake up and see what was going on. Um, but 
many of them have just fallen back to sleep again. And uh, we, obviously with the situation in Ukraine, which is uh, a whole other thing, I'll talk about that in another video again, uh, give you the latest of my thoughts of that. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we don't have... Well, we maybe do have two years because, you know, they don't want to bring this into force for until 2024. Heaven knows what the, the, the plan is for that. Maybe it's to just, you know, put people to sleep again and then do something and then hit everybody again even harder with another um, so-called pandemic. Who knows? We don't know the future. But um, we as sovereign people are the majority. And if we... Uh, wake up everybody and we uh, take back our sovereignty, our power, our freedom, then the small number of globalists cannot withstand the uh, 99% of sovereign people acting together in our power. So uh, let's raise awareness of this. Let's stand against the plans for a global government, which will not be good in whatever way it manifests itself. And let's stop this WHO uh, international pandemic preparedness treaty from being implemented. Okay, please do subscribe. Uh, to my channel. Uh, please join me in Heritage Party. Links below, as always. Uh, we are political resistance in the UK. And uh, if you're in other countries as well, you know, do support your uh, political parties that are fighting uh, for freedom in your countries. Um, okay, God bless you all.